Well, this video here will show you some uh, basic how-tos about, uh, about the inside computers. Like, there's so many people out there don't know how to work uh, computers and shit. I haven't figured, since I already just uh, changed the motherboard on my on my desktop computer, as I'm film as I'm filming, so I just uh, changed it over and it's uh, up and running now. I'll provide you some insight here. On some shit here. Like, say, what do you expect from inside a motherboard? Well, this motherboard here is a dead motherboard. I just pulled this one out and... I'll do, show you some insights. Like these here, what you call SATA ports. SATA ports. They use them around uh, modern, say, shit like hard drives and all that. Modern DVD and, uh, say, modern CD-ROM, DVD-ROM, floppy, say, hard drives and shit, we'll use these. It's like two of them there. And these here are like IDE ports. In case you have an IDE type CD-ROM or floppy drive. One specific label says. This would be useful in case people use floppy drives like my desktop computer. I don't know the reason I chose a floppy drive because I was thinking some old school ideas there when it happened. I don't know why. This particular port here is like where your CPU or, or processor what do you call it? The best way to call it? Central Processing Unit. That's where it, that's where you hook that up into, like that. And these are like uh, ports you hook shit into. Like this, you hook USB. And these look like from manufacturers are color coded and shit. And this is like uh, where you uh, hook your uh, mem RAM or memory. You pull these out and just carefully fit them in there. You gotta be careful. You fuck the, you fuck the, the chips up. You can... And there's like ports that you can hook, like say, just so you hook your CPU fan, a port for that. They have ports here you can hook power to your uh, motherboard. Various types of ports like free audio and like you might if you have a video card or whatever you might plug into a say one of these video port right here. I think uh, computer manufacturers or say or even uh, companies or so like say going into say car coding shit. I think there's an advantage of car coding like for those who are not as experienced like they can or if brothers want to build their own shit they can probably car coding might help them with uh, hookups and shit. And various ports like these are you hook a USB in these. Then you might hook a panel to that. <laughs> they free audio if you have audio ports and shit. <clears throat> for this one here, for figure manufacturers, uh, manufacturers like this is like uh, Ethernet networking right here. Like if you use DSL or or cable based there like we got. These are some like this is like output to for uh, input from speakers. An audio input and this is microphone input. And this is like a uh, speaker. And these here are USB ports. This is uh VGA ports and this is like for a standard printer and these are probably probably basically obsolete USB ports, say I mean PS2 ports. Which basically back in the nineteen nineties was important. All right, person, if you you want to fix your own computer, or uh, this is just the basics of a of a motherboard. Like say, you figure you just don't put the CPU in there and it just works right there. Like you need like a CPU fan to keep it cold, keep it uh, keep it uh, like keep the temperature regulated, all that shit. Yeah, keep it cold and shit, and, uh... Let me see, I'm just... you find one of these circuit board transistors and shit. I 
And you might say, nobody knows what's wrong. You might say this motherboard looks like it's uh, usable, but how do I know? All I, I know for sure is that, uh, is that, uh, was at some local computer repair shop I took it down to said that the motherboard was gone. I guess that's all was wrong. Put the new motherboard in, looked everything up carefully, and I got it up and it was up and running in no time. What I'm doing now is I'm uh, filming this as I'm uh, back and file shit to uh, portable hard drives. So in the event uh, something like this happens again, then it'll be uh, less of an issue. I might just free shit off. I have heat sinks and CPU fans to keep everything running. Yeah, I remember computer circuit board. Like computers will build up temperature when they work. This one here, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I just uh, a little bit of insight here. It might be for, say, hooking some type of accessory. Maybe some type of, I don't know what that's for. That's like for standard printers and shit, like old fashioned printers. Which uh, I don't uh, have a use for. Because everything's all running on USB nowadays. Modern printers are all USB powered. And this uh, type of accessory here, where the CPU would uh, go. Little accessory here helps keep the uh, CPU or central processing unit secured. And you just put your CPU fan heat sink on top of that, and then, uh, or say your CPU cooling system, and you're like uh, good to go. We'll say that for home or office use. Probably replacing motherboards, no problem. Like there was like a company out there. Well, I, I could discuss that in our video. I guess the purpose of this video has already been met.